What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have a mystery box, I think. I'll explain later. So before that, the giveaway, I'll be giving away these three cards. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think of this mysterious situation. So I'm gonna explain what happened to you guys. I got on eBay. I decided I was gonna buy a mystery box. There's a few different options. I think there was like a $1,000 one, like a $100 one, $250 one. I picked the $250 one and I just bought it. But my name is Ruxin34 on eBay. So the guy messaged me and he knew who Ruxin34 was. So I was like, Okay, so this might be a little bit biased toward me because he knows it's me, but still cool. So he messaged me, I know you, I love your channel or whatever. I'm going to send you this box. I also want to send you another box. So if you guys watched my video the other day, that mysterious box, I think that might have been, I don't know if it was the original mystery box that I bought or if it was the second box because he told me he was going to send me a second box. So I got this box. And I thought I was waiting on another box and I just looked at the tracking and I had already received it like a few days ago. So I don't know if they were opening the original one that I bought for $250 or if we're opening the second box. I think this is the original one. Hopefully there's something that tells inside if this is the right box. So we're going to go ahead and open it. We're going to find out what's inside this mystery box. Yeah, so this turned into a crazy situation, but we have a mystery box or a second box. This one's bigger though. So I think this is the original. I feel like this is the original. Somehow I got the other one first though. So I don't know. I'm just confused. I'm very confused. I thought that the other one was fan mail, but I'm pretty sure. I mean, this technically is fan mail. He sent it in. And I just realized this like literally right before recording this. So that's why it's so confusing. All right. Yeah, this looks like the mystery box. So this is the right mystery box. $250 mystery box. Let's open this up. We have first movie pack 2017 special edition. Um, is, is this the secret rares or the ultras? I think it might be the ultras. We'll find out. We have a structure deck spirit charmers. Okay, we're probably not going to open that one because obviously we know that, uh, you know, it's, it's a structure deck. You know what's in there. We got another one, the freezing chain structure deck. That's cool. We have a graded card. The Aquamador. Yeah, we got a we got a big boy graded card. Nothing too exciting there. We're gonna have to do some math on see what the value is here. We have hidden arsenal. That's pretty cool. Two hidden arsenals. So this was in the other one he sent us. So he, he must have a few of those. We have Dragons of Legend, the complete series. Definitely was not that great of a product, but it did have the dice. And then we have another one with dice, the season two. And then we have, let's see, a final. Tin. So this is a this is like a, a pretty old tin, like 2000, yeah, 2014. The Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger King. So that's pretty cool. He also asked me. He said uh, to shout out Josh and Philica on the engagement. So there you go. Thank you guys, Josh. See, that's why I'm pretty sure that he was the box. Is it was from Josh? Remember that? So I'm pretty sure we were right about that. Okay. So let's. Oh yeah, I gotta show you guys the pack. Okay, the first little batch of packs. He has a 2017. We got some Duelist pack Yugi. That's pretty cool. Two Rise of, uh, Rise of Destiny and Dark Revelation school because that's a little bit old school. I like that that's thrown in there. That's really cool. First edition, and then this doesn't come first edition, but volume three, pretty cool. In the next one, we have uh, some Korean LOB, which aren't crazy valuable, but it's nice to see. And then we have some actual, um, I say actual, but English uh, reprint packs. So Dark Crisis and Spell Roller. That's really cool. In the final batch of packs, we have Phantom Rage, first edition. So we could get a uh, Starlight. That's cool. We got a Battles of Legend. Could get the 10K. All right, that'll be fun. Okay, so that looks like all the packs. So that was our $250 mystery box. Everything in here adds up to whatever, but that's supposed to be $250-ish. So let's go ahead and start opening and see what kind of value we can pull out of here. Okay, so obviously I don't know exactly what the value is, but I'm gonna have like a little counter probably for everything, what it's worth on eBay or what you can buy it, probably what you can buy it for rather than what you sold it for because it just gets a little bit harder to find sold listings of some stuff. But uh, I'll try and add up the value so we can see how close we came to our $250. Let me know if you guys are interested in more mystery box videos. Uh, I bought this randomly off eBay. The guy just happened to know me. But um, I might want to try that again, but not with my main eBay account. Because then when they know me, they may or may not put better stuff in there or whatever. So we've got a Naturia Pineapple. Because obviously I'm going to make a video about it. So they want it to look better than it might. Okay, so I opened the special editions at least. So I will probably go through the... Legendary Duelist and the 10 separately actually open them up. Okay, so we can see like the dice and the promos and stuff. 
We have uh, the MVP one. This is the ultra rare version, probably the worst version because the gold version is really cool in the secret. This one is just kind of like, uh, they're all ultras. Not as exciting in my opinion, but still a nice little pack. Hidden Arsenal. We have, I've never opened a Hidden Arsenal Special Edition. At least I don't remember doing it. And now we've opened like three in the last week. Oh, and here's the uh, here's the foil right at the front. The Mist Valley Shaman. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the value in terms of the sealed. And then obviously what we pulled. We're not going to pull 250. Almost definitely. Because one, that's really hard to do. Here we go. Anyway, even if you have like a full value $250... It's just hard to get your money right, like back out of pulling. You know, let me just what you guys think about it. All right, we have Korean LLB. What are the chances there's a hollow? Will there be a hollow in any of these Korean packs? That's what I'm interested in because a lot of times they're clumped together. Um, you know, was was it from a box? You know, did we actually get a fair a fair uh, hollow chance? We'll see. If we get a hollow, I'd be kind of surprised because there's not many of them, and the ratios are like six per 40 packs in there basically because there's so many Korean packs. That's why buying Korean loose is just not really a good idea. Okay, Naturia Cliff. I'm gonna give my, I'm gonna give a one to 10 rating at the end for this mystery box. And maybe if we do more mystery boxes, I can rate all the mystery boxes in the future and just, you know, kind of have a, like a scale of how good they are. Okay, Blue, Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate is pretty good. I think that's worth a little bit. That's probably our first decent pull. We haven't had too much so far. All right, our last, Movie Pack 1, Dark Side of Dimensions, which was printed like, what, four times? Something insane, like just way too much. Um, Clear Karibo. Chocolate Magician Girl's pretty good. Also, by the way, I was sent this master shirt by one of the viewers, um, Sam, which is really cool. So I appreciate that. I opened that on the live stream yesterday. If you guys didn't see the live, go check it out. It was just, uh, we opened a ton of packs, but they weren't like crazy old or anything. But it was, it was a good time just hanging out with everybody there. Mist Valley Soldier. I'm gonna have to check these uh, hidden arsenal prices because I don't know if any of them are like worth the secrets or worth anything. I know Miss Valley Thunderbirds worth something because I didn't know that for a long time. And then I was like, oh, it's eight bucks or something. I was pulling it like all the time. Okay, here we go. We've got I don't know what that is. Spike Cedra, Beaver Warrior, and the Silver Fang. Let's try another lob. I really, really want to pull a foil. Can we do it, guys? We have Hinotama, Beast Fangs. We pulled a rare, the final flame. Speaking of flames, I am cooking right now. Because we did the live stream earlier and all these lights are bearing down on me. Now I'm recording the video for today and I am on fire right now. I'm sweating. Literally sweating. Oh my goodness. This is very hot. The trials and tribulations I go through. <laughs> we got the Metal Dragon just to record the video. All right, Hidden Arsenal 2. Let's see, we've got Ally of Justice Cosmic Gateway. I've like never heard of that card. Naturia Beetle. So far, nothing too crazy. We're, we do have Legacy Packs coming up. We are opening Legacy Korean Packs, which are not as exciting, but they are still cool. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Korean Packs recently, just like randomly. I thought, it's crazy, like, I didn't even realize that that box was from him. Okay, that's a nice Dragonus the Wicked Knight. So far, no foil, kind of what I figured. All right, we'll save the legacy packs for the end, probably. Ooh, what is this? Oh, okay. All right. Oh, this is the big boy from the Ice Barriers and Duel Links. I I'm sure they have much bigger boys at this point, but... <laughs> the Grunard. General Grunard. The Legionnaire. And Jirac. Let's try for a... Uh, let's try for a Starlight real quick. Phantom Rage. Okay, what's the big one out of Phantom Rage? Um, Zeus? Is it Zeus? We could go for the Zeus. I know this wasn't a very expensive card. Or, sorry, not, it's a very expensive set. Let's go ahead and do uh, le the Legendary Duelist. There's only two packs in here. Yeah, it's definitely an expensive card. Zeus is very expensive. It started off cheap just because Phantom Rage was very cheap at the beginning. Okay, let's see what die we can get. That's basically what we really care about here. I guess the value is not too bad in Legendary Duelist Season 2. It's pretty good, actually. The Season 1 was the one that was really bad. We got the... Oh, we got the Harpy. We always get this one. That's a cool one, though. And Urgent Schedule. Isn't that pretty decent? It was like a $30 card in the original printing, but that probably means it's like $2 now. Okay, let's do the Season 2. Let's pull the... What do we want? There's tons of good stuff, right? blue eye Support, Harpy Support, stuff like that. We got a Blackwing. Nothung. Okay. Photon Change. 
Decoy Dragon, Priest of Eyes of Blue, Glowing Crossbow, Protector with Eyes of Blue, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, that's cool, Cyber Eternity Dragon, Harpy Channeler, that's got to be a good reprint, because that card was like, you know, 30 bucks or something, or 20 bucks as a super, as an Ultra, I can't remember, but as the Ultimate Rare, is like 40 maybe, yeah, it's like 20 as the Ultra, I think. Okay, next pack. This look at this deck they give you. You could literally duel with like one mega pack. Cyber Lady. Cyber Harpy Lady, sorry. Mausoleum of White. Burst String of Destruction. Seeger. Chaos Form. Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's awesome. Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. That's a good one. Another Blue Eyes White Dragon. Okay, alright. I like that pack. I'll take that. And by the way. The uh, big announcement is hopefully going to be this week of something that I bought. It's going to be pretty exciting. So we're going to save that for the, later this week. We're also doing the Labyrinth of Nightmare 36-pack retail first edition booster box opening on Wednesday live. So come hang out there. The live streams have been tons of fun recently. We've had some really crazy pulls. Uh, check out the Legacy of Darkness from last week. It was absolutely amazing. It was awesome. We got Gungato. Toon Dark Magician, that's good. Zodiac Dryden, okay, 2017, got to go with the Drydens. Stardust Divine Dragon, and Illusion Magic. Very cool. Yeah, these kind of packs were everywhere when I first got back into it, because I got back into it late or early 2018. So all these 2017 packs were all over Walmart, because um, obviously it had just been 2017. Okay, Duelist Pack Yugi. We want to get the Dark Paladin. We want to get the Dark Magician Girl, the Summon Skull, all that stuff. We got a Card of Sanctity. We can draw 5 million cards. It's going to be great. Okay, Phantom Rage. Here we go. If we get a Starlight out of these, can you imagine? I don't care which one it is. That'd be insane. Hanabi. Raid Raptor, Phantom Knight's Claw, and Rookie for Hire. Okay, Phantom Rage. Let's try it again. So far, we have not pulled too much. If we're going by like what we pulled, our value is not going to be so hot, guys. It's not going to be great, but that we know that right off the bat. That's just how it works. UA Man of the Match. Um, the packs. So the pack selection that they gave. Let's kind of talk about this. What do we think about it? It is. It's not horrible, but it's not great. So it it does have more of a mystery box, like from Walmart feel. Like they kind of give you this stuff that's not that great, like Phantom Rage. The thing, I was happy they gave a Rise of Destiny. They gave a um, Dark Revelation 3. I mean, that's not an easy pack to find. Then you have the Legacy packs as well. So those were pretty cool that they gave those five packs. Those were, those were nice. Uh, and they probably had some decent value for a $250 box. So I think overall, I'm not feeling great about this box, but I'm not feeling terrible about it. So... Uh, I'm trying to think what I'm trying to think about my score at the end. What we're gonna do, card of sanctity. What we pull, it only has a slight effect to the score because the only thing is, like with loose packs, you're like, well, um, were these like out of open boxes where they already pulled the good stuff? Were they scaled? Like only some of them could be scaled, like Yugi. I doubt they would scale those though because there's not much valuable in it. Just kind of cool stuff. But that kind of you know you think about that stuff, but it's not necessarily a huge factor in terms of the score. So we have Phantom Rage. Like, if they open a Phantom Rage box and they pulled, like, the two secrets or they pulled a Starlight and then they sold the rest, that would be, like, the only thing you're concerned about for the loose packs. Ooh, we got a Tri-Brigade. Fair... <laughs> I'm going to give up. The Baron Blossom. How about that? So there's a decent pull. I don't know what it's worth. I think this one used to be worth a few dollars, but it's been a while, so I'm not sure. Okay, we still have, what... Okay, we got the older packs. Let's go with let's go with Dragons of Legend first. All right, so for the die, we got just a let's see, are they are they different or are they all like this? Are they all the dragon? I'm not sure. I can't remember. And then we got the Time Wizard of Tomorrow. I do like these throwback ones. They're really cool. I don't know if they're actually any good, like in terms of playability, value, all that stuff, but they are cool. All right, what do we want to pull? Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Is there anything else we even want? I don't know. I can't remember. Is Toon Kingdom in here? I think Toon Kingdom's in here, right? Obviously, we want that. We got a Toon Rollback. Number 100, Numeron Drag. It's in there. That's a great pull. Toon Kingdom. We got the Claw of Hermos. Okay. That's that's a pretty good pack. I don't know what the Kingdom is worth. I know that the regular one had the most valuable. Most valuable. Had the most value, but these, these colored name ones did not do as well. Uh, that was the initial release, so I don't know. I haven't checked since then. Let's see if we can pull another Tomb Kingdom or the Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. The alt art is the better one, I believe. And then there's the regular art from Dragons of Legend, the original. OK, 
Okay, we got Gear Golem, Lilybot, Construction Train, Signal Red, Cardian Willow, Raid Raptor. Okay, Galaxy Eye Cypher Dragon. Oh, we got it. Okay, this is a really good, uh, a really good Dragons of Legends le legend box. Very good. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe for that. There you go. Subscribe for that poll. That was a very good mini box. So, uh, it's looking better for our value. Might have actually made a little bit back. Okay. We just passed 72,000, by the way, yesterday, which is awesome. So subscribe if you're not. I know a ton of you guys are watching that are not subscribed. Oh, there's the secret right, right on the front. Um, so if you're not and you're enjoying the content, just go ahead and subscribe. I appreciate all you guys that do that. That is really awesome. Helps the channel. We're getting close to 100,000. At 100,000, I don't know what we're going to do, but it's going to be awesome. <laughs> you guys are like, whoa, what's he going to say? What are, the, what are they going to do? Okay, exchange. Let's see. We got a few more packs here. A few more packs. Let's see what we can get for this mystery box. There's a darkness, the metal, the dragon, dark seal. I keep forgetting it's at the front. This used to be a good card, but now it's banned. I mean, I guess it's still a good card. It's just not, you know, it's not worth anything anymore. <laughs> so it's worth like 10 cents. Okay. Here's the, here's the reveal right on the front. So let's go like this. There we go. Let's not ruin it. We would ruin, we would probably ruin it if it's a 10k dragon. We'd probably be able to see it from the side anyway. But oh well, we're going to, we're going to do this anyway. Okay. Come on, baby. 10K Dragon, Utopia. I highly doubt it, but you know how cool that would be to get out of a mystery box? The Pulp, the Bolt Penguin. Okay, final battles of legend. Here we go. Let's see what we can pull. Oh, there it is right at the front. The Darkness to the Dragon of Annihilation. I forgot, of course. Nice. Three packs left from this mystery box. Kind of a longer video, probably. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see more mystery boxes. If you do, like the video, let me know in the comments. Of course, subscribe because then you know you'll know when we actually do another one. Yeah, okay, Dark Crisis. Let's go for the Why did I just forget the name? The Exodia Necros. I was about to say Dark Necrofear, and I couldn't think of anything except Dark Necrofear. I was like, it's gotta be Dark Necrofear. But it's not. Token Thanksgiving is not Dark Necrofear in here either. So great. Okay. Um, let's go with Spell Ruler. Let's go for the Blue Eyes 2 Dragon, the Relinquish. Still never pulled a Relinquish from MRL, SRL, any of that. So that would be cool to, to do that. And I've opened a ton of SRL and MRL. Like a ton. Probably thousands of packs. Maybe like 8,000, not thousands. Giant Jerem. Okay, we're not going to do it this time either. Red Archery Girl and Umiruka. Yeah, so my speech about how many packs I've opened didn't matter. Let's do Dark Crisis. Then we'll do the actual old packs. These are reprints. So they're not actually old. They're just reprints of the old stuff. Okay, Shinado. How about a Shinado, King of the Higher Plane? Let's do that. Agito, let's do this. We have something here. We have a Medora. Okay. We did have something, but it wasn't that exciting. A Medora. Super rare. Always in Dark Crisis. Okay. Let's end it with Rise of Destiny, the Dekoichi pack. The pack we always open for Dekoichi. Let's see what we can get. All right, Moe Interceptor Cannon, Hand of Nephthys, Moki Moki King, Guardian Statue, Element Doom, Burstenatrix, Meteor of Destruction. Okay, Meteor of Destruction. No good reprints in there either. Okay. We're kind of hoping there were some decent commons. Final pack of the mystery box. Here we go, guys. Can we pull something big, an ultimate rare? This is one of the first sets with Ultimate Rare. It's not the first, maybe. Is it the second or third? I can't remember if it came. I think it's third after Flaming Eternity, or is it before Flaming Eternity? I can't remember. Then it would be second. I can't remember. Raging Flame Sprite. You guys can let me know in the comments. We got a Zing Zenhu. Rock from the Valley of Haze. Lighten the load, and here we go. Like button for luck, guys. We got it. <laughs> we got the Nikoichi. It's not the Ultimate Rare, but it is a very nice rare. Probably worth like $8, so very, very strong. And uh, overall, okay, not bad for the mystery box. I nearly forgot to add this Megaton in, so we're gonna have to open up this Megaton first before we can give this mystery box a score. Oh, it has these really cool, uh, I don't know if you guys like these, but these like platinum -y secret rares, I like them, I think they look cool. I think they look a lot better than the regular platinums. The regular platinums are a bit crazy, so I think that looks pretty sick. And there's more cards behind there, so that's really cool to get. Then we've got these three Megaton 2014s, which have some decent cards in them. I think we opened one of these. Yeah, we opened one of these out of the uh, out of the other box that he sent us that we didn't realize was from him. White Dragon. Sewer Defense Robot. Abyss Scale of Mizuchi. Battle and Boxer. Sylvan Hermitry. I don't remember if that's any good or not. P 
Pinpoint Guard is not good, I know that. <laughs> Sacred Sword of the Seven Stars is decent, I think. We got a Vertical Landing. Bujing, Bujingi Centipede. The good old Bujingis. Okay. Pack number two. Mega Pack 2014. Seven years ago at this point. So if you guys remember this coming out, let me know in the comments. And uh, let me know how <laughs> it felt like that was like a year, not seven years. That's insane. Guy okay, got Wind. Five Brothers Explosion. Aerial Recharge. Mermail Abyss so Okay, Will of Prophecy. <laughs> Rank up Magic Numeron Force. I remember that card. Rainbow Karibo. That's a cool card. I mean, it just looks like a circle with like a kite on his head. That's interesting. Evil Swarm. Kerry Keone. Keone. I don't know. I don't know what that is. All right. Intercept Tomato. Okay. Oh, I said Zexal packs earlier. For some reason, I was thinking that this had, uh, that this had like the actual packs. And then I remembered it's Mega Packs. I think this is when Mega Packs first started, right? 2014? I don't think there was any before that. So. Definitely cooler to get packs, I think. But Mega Packs are probably better for, like, actually getting cards you need, like reprints and stuff. Bujente Tsukiyomi. Okay, nice. Ooh, the Divine Dragon Knight Belgrand is actually a really good one. And the uh, Konkuroda Uda. See, this is when we opened this. I said the cover card from Sh Shadow Spectres. This is what I was talking about. And we actually pulled it. That's cool. That's actually probably worth, like, 10 bucks. One of the, I mean, that's a really good for a Megaton value. Usually Megaton values don't go that high. Obviously, um, that's not true for um, Red Eyes Dragoon. So, you know, but uh, that's, that's the mystery box, guys. All right, mystery box scoring time, guys. I'm going to go with, this was a pretty fun mystery box. There was a lot of stuff in there, which is nice. I mean, a lot of different stuff to open. It's very fun. Um, 250 is pretty expensive, but it's not insane. So... Fun stuff to open. There's a decent amount of it. Nothing insane. Like, there was nothing huge in here. There was, like, a couple of nice packs, which made it... A, it was nice, but it wasn't great. So, I, I would maybe like a more expensive pack in here that to make it, like, really good mystery box. So, I would say... I would go with, like, a 7.1 out of 10. That's what we're going to go with for this mystery box scoring. If we ever do another one, I'll do another score. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright, Boom! Oh, <laughs>